Ooh. Dumb man, don't have a bucket of water on me. Yeah. Get fucked. Howdy guys, welcome back. It's your boy Owen, and today we're playing some Minecraft. Now I did do a little bit off camera. So, here, you can see that this looks a little different. There's a ceiling on. Beds are still the same. There's a new crafting table there. Uh, this looks a little different, right? What's this? Boom. Got an upper deck. Got a little table here. I'm going to put some... Put Hello? I just picked up a torch. Uh, okay. And uh, as you can see, tree farm looks a little different. And everything else looks kind of the same. But this here, I wanted to... I right, check this out with you guys. Because this up here is pretty cool. I like this. A three-story house because we can. Why the fuck not? This is Minecraft, for God's sakes. See, I put up a rail in. Finished that all up. Now, it looks a little ugly. It's all right. Um, I would have done it in dark wood, and I like dark wood better. But I didn't want to go digging for it off camera because then I might die. And you guys won't get to see that. See my tragic reaction. Now, uh, I got tired of waiting for the trees to regrow, and I didn't want to cut down that whole forest, so I expanded this out some, and, <coughs> excuse me, and all of them, now, uh, now we're set up, so, yeah, so, uh, today's objective, nether, yes, the nether, this is going to be our first challenge, other than caving. So, we need to acquire three diamond. Make a diamond pickaxe, well, at minimum. I prefer more, but we'll see what happens. Then, travel to the nether and get glowstone. Because I want, I want some glowstone. And also, get a saddle. Oh, shit. You break really quick. Because where that thing went, the whole thing. All right, Um. yeah. So that's our first objective. So we're gonna go try that out. Now down here in the cave system, might have noticed that uh, a little bit more expanded. This is uh, my doing again. I just expanded it out a little bit. And uh, so now we're gonna dig this out down here, make it into a bigger area for us to mine in. And we're gonna do three blocks high because we're not heathens. So. I'm gonna give you a little tip on uh, efficiency, real quick. So, no, not in here. so, when mining for diamond, the 100% most efficient way is simply two blocks tall, straight. This exact right here, you can just hold. You can hold your cursor straight. Don't even need to move it. And you are at peak efficiency. This is because you are exposing one, two, three, four, five, six. Instead of if you're to do one, two as well, you're only adding two blocks that you are exposing. So you take this, take out your pick, go two over. This is now the most efficient. Because if you go three over, now there's a line in between. Say if I start here this pillar right here will never be seen. So you start here. Simple simple stuff, simple stuff. All right, another simple tactic. When you're near lava, don't destroy it. Build around it. This right here, provide free light. And the best thing is that now it's like, if I ever need lava, I just come by and pick it up. Don't need to go forge for some after destroying it all. Okay, I don't know why the Minecraft developers decided to add in this garbage here. This, granite, and I don't know what the hell the other one is. A and it, okay, I, mean, I can't even say it. These are the dumbest things to add. Because you can't craft with them, you can't do anything with them. 
pointless. Pointless garbage. It's more clutter. Granite would be cool if you could make, like, I don't know, furniture with it. Or marble. If they added in marble, I guess that's kind of what quartz is, right? I'm not sure. Quartz is supposed to be, like, a crystal. I don't know. Don't ask me. Oh, and I uh, hope you guys like the new headset. Um, I was tired of using my iPhone earbuds paired with my broken microphone that was sitting on the desk or that I would attempt to wear and it would just be uncomfortable as shit. So went down to uh, got some, uh, what are these? What's, what brand is this? HyperX Cloud Alpha. Uh, this is mostly used for the sound quality. It's mostly for uh, the durability, mic quality. So hopefully it sounds better. If it doesn't, I can always switch back. I have like what two week warranty on this, where they won't take it back. So I'll probably take it back if it's not any good. All right, well my pick just broke, and uh, this is a perfect place to explain this. Um, so, right now I'm in block 11. If you were to mine down and be on block 10, which is what a lot of people say, you know, go to block 10. Um, I think that's like the peak of diamond spawn is on level 10. The only problem with that is, is that lava spawns on level 10. So, what happens is, is that you'll be running along and you'll run into a lava pool like this right here, up here. And... Lava will be, and lava will be this here, and it will try to spill onto you. So you do, you just go one block up, you no worries. Dumb man, don't have a bucket of water on me. All right, I do have a bucket of water on me. I'm going to need to make more torches. I uh, totally forgot you exist. Ah, shit. And that lava pool right above your head is quite fucking dangerous. I like how I never made any extra torches. Ooh, man, that lava was dangerous. Very stressful. So again, it's a lot easier walking around on top of lava than 
you know, digging for it. This one he looks like one piece though, and I'm gonna be very irritated if that is the truth. Yeah, just full speed real quick. Full speed. Did y'all seriously not see me? All right, here's the thing. I don't want to aggravate them. But here's the thing. I know they're right up here. So here, here's what I'm going to do. Since I know there's no diamond up there. Not that. Not that. Not that one bit. That skeleton walk around is freaking me out. They're the ones that normally kill me. Because they'll just show up. Twang. What? Poof. In the lava. I totally forgot that you can block with the sword. Might want to put torches away if I'm going to be doing that. Wait, can you block with the sword anymore? Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, that is that is a definite issue. I need to look up how to build a shield. All right, guys. So, uh, I decided to open up a new mine. You know, the other one wasn't really giving me much of anything. And uh, look what I found. So, this here, if any of you guys, Minecrafters, would know, this is the bottom of a mine shaft. So, right up here is the mine shaft. And I did explore it some. There was a chest over there, had a name tag in it. A few rails, a few redstone rails. I guess a couple of fence. I don't know where I picked those up. But uh, nothing really major. Currently, out of torches. You know, I'm out of wood. But there is something that is very... Ooh, you can hear it now. And it is only in the mines that you can find it. Oh, wow. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. But uh, it's that right there. And right there is a mob spawner. And it's a spawning poisonous spiders. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to get a shit ton of torches. And I mean, oh, and some milk. We're going to get a bunch of milk. So basically, any potion effect that is given to you, I believe it's any negative. I'm not sure if it's positive as well. But basically, if you drink milk, poof, it's gone. So if you get bit and you and you get poisoned, the poison will kill you in hard mode, I think. I think it will. What we can do is, is that once we kill that spider, that pesky little spider, we t -t 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 some milk, and that will be golden. I don't know what the hell that is. That must be the uh, the sound for the spawner. No, because they got cave sounds. It makes sense if there was spawner sounds. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous right there. Go it just.
Don't know, don't know. Alright, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was. If I just ran down here quick enough, I could just cut it off. Not to mention there's already a lot of lava around here. It would have been difficult for it to spawn anyway. Alright, yeah. Yeah, we could definitely work with this. Mob farm, indeed. Yes! Guess what we found, guys. Oh, finally. I think we've been looking for for way too long. And there's a lot of them. And my inventory's full. Hold on. Damn, there's a lot of them. Holy smokes. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. <sighs> that mob spawner was way easier to defuse than I thought it would be. There you go. That's the portal. And now... Make some real quick flint and steel. Get a bunch of cobble. We'll be good to go down in there. Here it goes, nothing. Ooh. All right, well this is quite good already. We are in a very open area. I like this. I don't know why the lag is still here. You gotta be shitting me. He's backed up in his domain over there. Eh, it don't hurt me. So first things first, um, you gotta get some glowstone. But I'm gonna grab this real quick. What is that over there? What is that? I'm gonna go check it out. What is this? Ah, fuck! <laughs> Noted. Don't touch. Hands off merchandise. What is this? Magma block. And I'm standing on it again. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. What does it give you? Does it give you anything? It doesn't. Does it give off light? If it does, I'm going to take all of this shit. This... Oh, fuck. I'm low. This is such a cool looking block. Look at this block. This might be my new favorite block. This is like a cobblestone, except it fucking glows. Dude, if you give off light, you are my new favorite block. Moment of truth. Do you give off light? Damn, I got a lot of you. I don't think you do. Aww. Wait, do you? I think you give off a very little amount of light. That is awesome. I like that. It's good shit. I don't remember the dimensions for the hot tub. I remember it when I have to make it. That is a bunch of glowstone over there. Just right on the ground. Look at that. You know, I honestly am not a big fan of the look of the torches. I really like the look of the glowstone, though, when used properly, like hidden light and stuff. And really, I'm basing all this off of uh, Ethos Lab. Whoever's seen that. He's a... Uh, he was quite a big... Uh, what's uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not mentor, but... Uh, encourager? No, what the fuck's the word for it? Would it be mentor? Someone that I look up to. You know, back when I was first learning Minecraft and everything. 
Back when I first, well, I should say back when I first started watching on YouTube. It was him and Paul Soros Jr. The two that I watched. So, my knowledge of Minecraft is pretty quick. But what uh, Ethos Lab did, when he went to his uh, underground cave, cave home, this shit was nice. No torches anywhere. The way he decorated stuff, I loved it. But his ideas and stuff that he had were awesome, awesome, cool stuff. But uh, I'm thinking this will conclude today's episode. I've got quite a lot of footage that I'm going to edit out. And I know this is going to be taken up. Oh, shit, it's nighttime. And I'm just chilling here eating. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. I want to keep in track of... Uh, the next uploads and stuff. I upload pretty regular. If you guys did enjoy, let me know. Let me know what else you guys want to see. What else you guys want to hear. Uh, we are doing a podcast. Me and my buddies. Every Friday goes up. Uh, but yeah, but it's on a different channel. It's on uh, Slightly Roasted Podcast channel. We're also doing animations and stuff. I have two animations up on this channel at the moment. Uh, all the rest of them will soon be uploaded over to... Uh, Slightly Roast Podcast channel. So, and until next time, be safe, be kind, be smart. But if you're going to be stupid, be smart about being stupid. Until next time, y'all. Bye bye. Fun fact, if you were to break obsidian with your hand in Minecraft, it will take approximately five minutes for you to get through it.